Thank Miss is coming December 10th, the charity live stream event that you can participate in by going to Tiltify and signing up with your own campaign link. But that being said, for this episode of Let's Talk Jinx, we're going to be talking about Hard Steel and some other preseason stuff because there's this kind of thing going around that uh, AD carries are going to be in a lot of trouble this preseason. And honestly, as an AD carry player for like eight years, look, every preseason doesn't mean we're in trouble, but let's talk about the reasons why people think that. And then Jinx in relation to that because she is a tank killing AD carry. So first and foremost, right, Heart Steel is an item that people are talking about. It costs 3,200 gold, uh, it gives you 800 health, uh, health regen even, you know, ability haste, the build path is kind of nice, but it's really the passive people are talking about, where you get a charge of attack against a champion over 3 seconds while in 700 range of them, not even in combat, but just in range of them. Uh, the charge attack deals 125 plus 6% of your maximum health as bonus physical damage, uh, and grants you 10% of that amount as permanent max health, 30 second cooldown per target. Uh, so yeah, you know, that, that can be a little bit of a uh, issue, if you will. It feels like a better uh, Gargoyle Stone Plate, if you remember that item. Um, and on top of that, uh, because you're a tank killing AD carry though, and that's the thing I want to get to, you know, Jinx is a tank killing AD carry. I'm not saying that automatically means that tank killing AD carries are going to have no issue with dealing with enough tanks if they're in the meta. But what I guess I am saying is, you know, I get it. It can't be 2015. It makes me sad too. I miss 2015 and all the, the, the grandeur and how powerful AD carries used to be back then. It, it, it does give me pain, Peko. Pain, Peko. With that being said, we all aren't what we were in 2015. Sometimes for the better, right? Uh, I definitely somehow got uglier. But overall, right, you have that change, and I get it because you also have, you know, Iceborne changes. You have other tank item changes. You have the Randwitz Omen change that some people are worried about because uh, what they basically did is they took the crit passive, the, the crit reduction damage. And instead of being a, uh, as an active that you had to activate in battle as a tank, it's back to being a passive. So there are things that even as a crit AD carry you're going to have to worry about. However, one thing to note that I always like to remind people, in case it helps them remember, is if there are tanks in the meta that you have to deal with, and of course part of the problem is it feels like tanks do uh, like as much damage as AD carries, or as DPS in general, so why would you play any DPS role when you could just probably play a tank and do the same thing, but also be beefier? I get it. However, if the enemy team has tanks because they're meta, you have tanks because they are meta, so you have a front line, you have things that hopefully will prevent the enemy team from getting to you. On top of that, the more tanks that are meta, the less things like assassins and like backline threats hopefully are meta. So hopefully you only really need like one or two on your team, and you're probably going to be safe as Jinx. Because again, and I know we're biased, this is a Jinx channel, it's my job to be biased, alright? That's kind of why you're here probably, is because you know this is a Jinx channel. She has some of the best long-range crit AoE DPS in the entire game. I know they did Sivir changes, and so that's nice and all, but Sivir's still pretty short range. Jinx, uh, you know, with the rocket launcher, it's pretty far back. If you are able to be protected, if you're able to position well, you should be able to knock down most enemy targets. And if you have to target the tank first, because that's all that's in range, I'm not saying focus the tank when everything else is in range, but usually everyone's like, you know, never focus the tank. If the tank's the one stepping up because they're not doing a good job, they're not supposed to just eat everything, yeah, chunk them down. And then if a team fight breaks out, maybe they're like, you know, chunk dead already. And then you can go target the uh, priority targets because they're not tanking enough to actually tank anything anymore. So by all means, that's one of the benefits of things like Jinx, even Caitlyn, Tristana, the DPS heavy AD carries. But obviously, like I said, Jinx biased. Uh, so keep that in mind. Basically what I'm saying is I don't think AD carries, at least the DPS, like crit heavy focused AD carries are in as much danger this preseason as the noise that I'm seeing floating around or the noise that I'm hearing outside. Because for some reason at the exact point that I went to record, this apartment complex's uh, gardening and lawn mowing team showed up. I'm not even joking. As soon as I went to sit down and hit record, they just pulled up. My timing is great. I do have luck. It's called bad luck. With that being said, though, let's get out of here for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. But what are your opinions about the preseason, 80 carries, and then Jinx specifically in it? I do think it is valid that people are worried about certain items. Because I do think, like, Sunfire not being a mythic anymore means you can build a mythic item and also build Sunfire. Uh, which is a, a pretty good armor item, of course. Thorn Mail still exists out there. Bramble Vest and all of that. Um, and, and the like, so I'm not saying people worrying like stupid and you shouldn't, it, it's, why are you worrying? You could just, you can just do it. No, I, it's, it's going to be difficult, but I don't think it's going to be like 80 carry 
2023, like people are saying, the same way they used to say A to carry 2017 or 2016, when that actually like was a problem. That was a problem. Patch 8.11 also was a problem. I'm one of those A to carry players. All right, you're not. You don't know about 8.11. Then don't worry about it. They're getting louder. They're getting closer. They're closing in on my location. I'm, I'm not grass, but I might be chopped up here in a second if I don't get out of here. So, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification, the actual subscribe button. But I don't know which video will be next, because I have a lot of kinks. So, until next time, take care. GG, get jinxed. Thank you for watching, and enjoy pizza responsibly.